Hello, viewers, viewers, and welcome to Yellow Man Beer View. With me here, the Master Puppets, again joined by Jakob the Lord of Alts and Tour the Tommy Know It All. Yep. And we're looking at yet another St. Oswald beers. This is uh, their 1913 Stout, which is a recipe they haven't done in a long, long time. They've re brewed it. It's not even on the rating sites at all yet. And uh, it's on uh, 5.2, I think. Yeah, 5.2%. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's what we got right here. Haven't had this before, I don't think either of us had. I had it last Friday actually. Oh, okay. It is actually pretty dark. You still get some reddish shoes going through. Though. Yeah, it's not completely pitch black. No. A little bit of an off white ish but... Yeah, I get some ruby highlights there. Yeah. 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 It's a little dark in here now. Because it's getting late. We've been here all day, Yako and I actually, so. Let's see the aroma. A lot of licorice. Yeah. And roasted malt, but, toasty notes. Yeah, but not kind of like... Also some dark fruits. The liquor is, isn't like the star in No, it's no, no. It's more like a... It's, it's kind of like, like an sweet, ester. Sweet, finished licorice. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's... A mixture of the roast, like, roasty malt. Yeah. Yeah. Was, and also the ester, fruit ester. Because I also get a decent amount of like dark fruit. And... Red grape, maybe. A little... Yeah. Like red it's red actually red grape. I get some fruit punch, you know, that, that kind of fake cherry yeah. fruit punch. I can see the fake cherry part. Actually, a surprisingly, a surprisingly small amount of chocolate. Yeah. I thought you'd get more, but uh, the chocolate, again, is chocolate malt, I think, more so than like dark or milk chocolate. Yeah. A lot of roast, actually. Uh, it's a lot of roast. It's really nice, actually. You guys want to give this a taste? Yep. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers you guys. Very nice mouthfeel feel too. It feels kind of creamy. Yeah. Yeah. But like super intense on the creamy. I'd say medium body with a creamy soaky mouthfeel. I get a little bit of black currant too. Yeah, almost. But that's probably also again. It's got that generic fruit fruity ester. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little bit of that wine bug. But a decent amount of roasted malt. Roast a little bit of coffee though. Yeah. Uh, and again, chocolate malt, not exactly chocolate. Well, also like like a really high percentage dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah, but a bit of malt to it. Yeah. Um, I don't pick up much of the diastole I talked about in the aroma and the flavor. No, it's, it's I don't really. Well, I get the cherry, but it's more of a, sh a sour cherry mm. than that. Uh, not that the punch. beer. Yeah, but not that the beer is sour. No, no, no. But it's like a lightly tart cherry like flavor. Yeah. But it, it's a pretty decent. It's actually, I actually like it. I, I think it's a really nice. Really drinkable and really enjoyable as well. Really sessionable too, yeah. uh, because mm. of the ABV. Also a little bit of that fruitcake, marmalade almost flavors. More more so fruit fruitcake than marmalade though, I probably. Well, black, black currant mar uh, marmalade. Yeah, yeah. 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 As I said before, it does yeah. have a little bit of black currant flavor. It's actually quite nice. The more I drink on it, the more I like, like it, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I, I like the mixture of fruity ester and roast, but it's still not a mind blower. But it's really good. I actually, I'm gonna give it an 80. For this one, I think this is really good. Actually, I think this is a pretty nice session of stout. Yeah. It's 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 pretty good. I'm gonna go a little lower at 78. This is a great beer. This is worth I'm checking not, out. But yeah. I'm not I'm not le I'm not leaning on an 80 or something. I'm just leaning on an 80. I'm not gonna okay, go, go all the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's a, it's a really good beer. It's very drinkable. You got all the characteristics of uh, all the stuff you want in a beer um, of, of this style. So, except combination. <laughs> it's a casket. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a casket. <laughs> so it's got all the, the char characteristics characteristics that you want in this kind of beer. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, 80, 82. Good stuff. I mean, if you get the chance to try this rebrew of an old recipe, the recipe definitely check it out. Uh, the 1913 style from St. Austin. So, guys, definitely let us know what you think of this if you've had it. I don't know if it's been available, like, on I think, yeah, I think it's a limited release and limited edition. Yeah. So, you know, maybe people in the St. Austin area will probably have it, but. Uh, anything else. But good stuff. Definitely worth checking out if you can get it. 
So that is a good beer review of the Saint Austell 1913 Stout. Definitely let us know what you think of this beer review. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're gonna say cheers. We're gonna see you guys in another beer review.